Yep, you're live. All right, just get the, uh, get the microphone set up. Yep, here we go. Thank you for the uh, allowing us a quick dinner break. <laughs> yeah, very um, nice. When you're out on the road, man, uh, we left Tampa, well, seems like eons ago. Uh, we jump in the car and drive, do an event, jump in the car and drive, do an event, you know, two days here on the, on the West Coast. We get, they're going to be one of days and we have a little further drive from some places. Over on the East Coast, we're going to do a three day because a lot of the places we're going are, you know, super close. You know, so we'll do a couple hour event. That's the whole thing. Because we don't, we don't need to be a spend all day, you know, being long winded. It's a quick hit in and out, you know, share the information about unity and then hopefully, um, you know, it, go, it spreads from there, right? That's what we're looking for is, you know, is to share the vision that the creator has given Lewis. And I, I, I buy into, we, Lewis and I have had private discussion for well over a year is, um, you know, that's one of my um, pet peeves, if you will, of the of this community, of the True Third Patriot community, that we can't get any unification. There's, you know, everybody's going off doing their own different thing. And I understand, you know, we're not some cult. We don't want everybody to go march in a lockstep and believe in every single thing that we believe. But I, I think we, there's, I would hope, you know, that's one of the things that's inside me. You know, it just puzzles me is why there's so much and now as I, as time has gone on i realize that it's a lot there's lots of ego uh there's you know some people may may not be in it completely for we the people they're in it for themselves there's a selfish aspect i can tell you from a personal experience my own personal testimony uh you know early on before i you know my awakening and moving in the, uh, into a better place spiritually uh, i was kind of selfish you know, I was doing things for that would benefit me and my family, right? And once I, it was a, it was like flipping a switch, just making a decision. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve others rather than serve myself. And then as soon as I did that, doors open, opportunities were there, the resources, the money, you know, whatever. I was blessed beyond belief, just just by doing the work, you know, and working for other people. And I know the, the uh, it, I think uh, Napoleon Hill in this book, Thinking Grow Rich, right? Is if you help enough other people get what they want, you'll get what you want. And you don't give to get, you know, that's not the proper attitude to have. But I mean, the uh, the principle of that, and we talked, you know, before while we we're eating, mentioned that Pareto principle. You know, you want, you know we're looking for a hundred percent buy-in to you know what we need to do to move forward and uh and save our republic and you know get, get, maintain our sovereignty and our you know freedoms um that we're supposed to have that god gave us and so if we don't uh you know put aside some of our own personal ambition and just do the work of we the people it's it's going to take way longer so i mean from like i said from personal experience Serving others is way more uh, fulfilling than uh, other people. Just to see if somebody's, you know, when the light bulb goes on, mm -hmm. you know, for them when you're, you're sharing some information, and then just to see the new, the new, the, the newbie, the newly, uh, newly awakened, you know, you, somebody who's uh, come out of their slumber, uh, to see the excitement, and then the, the rabbit holes and the stuff that they're digging, it just it feeds energy upon energy upon energy, and. Uh, you know, that Pareto principle, you know, we're only, you know, 20% of the people are going to do 80% of the work. Even in the Revolutionary War, 3%, you know, of the people wanted to, you know, wanted to fight to get away from England. Most of the people there wanted to stay, stay back and, you know, loyal mm -hmm. to the crowd. You know, but so where would we be have that 3% that not showed up? You know, there's there's tons and tons and tons of principles. The more I research, the more I see how everything is connected. And if we, if we got we got to connect to one another. Um, you mentioned uh, while we're eating the Patriot groups, you know that started all over the place. If there's one thing that I can impart to anybody watching or here, is if you do not have a local, I mean, we're talking like super local, you know, in your community, a, a group. We call, I call them, we call them patriot groups. You know, people are 
looking to do stuff, or pissed off enough to put their hat in the ring, uh, st if you don't have one, that you can go to and start one. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed beyond measure where I live in Pinellas County. We had, uh, during COVID, there was a couple of moms that got uh, fed up with what was going on in the schools and the masking and all that stuff with the children. So they started meeting in a house, you know, what, they, what can they do, you know? And that grew and grew and they, then they moved from a house to a small coffee shop and the coffee shop, now we're in this restaurant with a room that hold, probably holds three, 400 people. <laughs> they meet twice a month uh, on the second or the second and fourth Wednesdays and every meeting that they have, there's close to 200 people, 200, 250. That show up there every single every single meeting so they're super active uh you know it takes a little while to grow to there but like i said it started with two moms in a house and now our facebook page the facebook page is called town hall patriots it's a private group but they got over 1500 people on the facebook page you know 200 people twice a month and we're, we are making changes we're pushing you know the school board stuff and trying to get you know good people in there same thing with the county commission um, Pinellas County, we get to have access to a lot of the candidates. You know, they want to come in and give their spiel, so you can get some more closer one-on-one -on -one time with some of the candidates uh, to to interrogate them because that's what we have to do. Um, so that's the number one thing. If I can, and if you don't do anything else, try to find or start your own patriot group of people, like-minded people that we can, and it's not a, just a bitch session, right? No. You're going to come together and piss them on and complain about how everything's wrong. Let's look for a solution. Let's look for, you know, and then how can we, you know, there's two people today. Next week, let's, you know, everybody bring one. That's going to be four, and that's eight, and 12. And it's, it becomes exponential. Uh, so that's that's one of the biggest tips that I can pass along to me. If you don't want to have start a Patriot group. And you can find them on, on Facebook if you're playing that game or there's a meetups. Yeah, so in fact, I have it in the back of the room. I'm evaluating 